Hello everybody and welcome to what is going to be a very short LP probably of V V V V V V or the letter V six times or six V's I don't know call it whatever you want this is I think this is the first game I ever got on Steam and I've just, I just really wanted to replay it because I haven't played it since I first got it and I absolutely love this game um, I'll get into why I love it so much when we're go away mouse when we're in the game, we look at how cute our little people are. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Is everything okay? No. We hit the Ninstar elevator defense. Well, shit. Something's wrong. We're going to crash. All the little sad faces are like the cutest things. This shouldn't be happening. Ah. Uh. Phew, that was scary. At least we all escaped, right guys? Guys? <laughs> the little noise they make when they're so sad! Oh, it's the best. This game is incredibly simple. It's basically got three buttons. Left, right, and flip. You don't have a jump button. You have a flip button. You change the gravity. It's amazing. I wonder why the ship teleported me here alone. I hope everyone else got out okay. Aw, these are checkpoints. You will learn to love them because this game is a bitch. Oh, hello. So the entire game is a very simple platformer based on, like, old platformers, I guess. Okay, We're, I'm gonna be trying 100% this because I've played this game before. So there are these things called shiny trinkets. There are 20 of them. We're gonna get all of them. Yay! So this game is actually really difficult. I'm not showing the difficulty at the moment. Almost everyone has been evacuated from the space station now. The rest of us are leaving in a couple of days, once our research has been completed. Aww. Cute little space people. I can't remember what our character's name is, but we'll find out soon. It starts with a V, funnily enough. Ah! And every single screen has its own title. Oh, it's just so perfect and adorable and wonderful. Captain, you're okay. Something has gone horribly wrong with the ship's teleporter. Yeah, I could have told you that. I think everyone has been teleported away randomly. They could be anywhere. Oh no. I'm on the ship. It's damaged badly, but it's still intact. Where are you, Captain? Well, I don't fucking know. I just I turned up in a random place. I'm on some sort of space station. It appears pretty modern. There seems to be some sort of interference in this dimension. Map! I'm broadcasting the coordinates of the ship to you now. Do we have to go all the way there? Jesus Christ. I can't teleport you back, but... If you can find a teleporter anywhere nearby, you should be able to teleport back to me. Okay, I'll try to find one. Good luck, Captain. I'll keep trying to find the rest of the crew. So it's such a simple story. You're just, you're just some little space people. And you went somewhere. And then something went wrong. You all teleported. You all teleported in different places. Ah! No yes men. No yes men. Ooh. Sometimes you do have to think about what you're doing before you do it. Here is the second one. Oh, it's another one of those shiny trinket things. But I probably don't really need it. But it might be nice to take it back to the ship to study. Yeah, we're gonna get it, bitch. Okay. Wait for it, wait for it. Whoop! Wait for it. Wait for it. Ha! Oh, the easiest way to go back after getting it is just to kind of die. Because you keep it. It's great! Speedrunning tactics. Oh. So we're trying to go down here. There we go. Press enter to view map and quick save. Fuck you, I don't need your maps. Ah! <laughs> that was like a proper jump scare in this cutesy little game. Oh my god. Oh no, I died! It's, it's, another, it's one of these games when you figure out the controls and everything, it's kind of a lot easier. I'm saying this as I'm dying a lot. That was stupid. That one, that one was just stupid. <laughs> oh, this game makes me so happy. It's so cute and colourful and 
it's such a simple concept that's taken to like as far as you can possibly take it. It's wonderful. The first time I did this area I went all the way down, came back up and landed on the same side as I originally started on, which was a bit stupid. Ah, no! Quicksand. Boop. The music as well. I advise you all to, after watching this LP, to either buy the soundtrack or listen to all of it in full because it's incredible. It's some of the best chip tune whatever you want to call it, I've ever heard. I love this game so much. I can get back to the ship with this. Yay! We did it! We beat the first level! Captain! You rescued a crew member. I mean, I think I more rescued myself. She rescued me more than I rescued her. She was still in the ship. She was safe. So, Doctor, do you have any idea what caused the crash? There's some sort of bizarre signal here that's interfering with our equipment. It caused the ship to lose lose its quantum quantum position, collapsing us into this dimension. Oh no! But I think we should be able to fix the ship and get out of here. As long as we can find the rest of the crew. Oh, look at him! We really don't know anything about this place. <laughs> our friends could be anywhere. They could be lost or in danger. Oh, he's in such peril. Look at him. Can they teleport back here? Not unless they find some way to communicate with us. We can't pick up their signal and they can't teleport here unless they know where the ship is. So what do we do? We need to find them. Head out into the dimension and look for anywhere they might have ended up. Okay, where do we start? Well, I've been trying to find them with the ship's scanners. It's not working, but I did find something. Ooh. These points show up on our scans as having high energy patterns. There are a good chance they're teleporters, which means they're probably built near something important. They could be a very good place to start looking. Okay, I'll head out and see what I can find. I'll be right here if you need help. That's so nice of you, miss. I can't remember your name, and I feel really bad about that. So, another great thing about this game... It's kind of open-worldy. And you can go to any level in any order you want to. I can't remember where any of the levels are, so we're just gonna wander around till we turn up at one. Oh. Ah! Ah! No! Ah, oh, I was doing so well. Boop. So it's probably called VVVVVV, and the Vs are probably spikes, because there are spikes fucking everywhere, and they just want to kill you and make your life miserable. It's terrible. Where are we going? Surely. Ooh, teleporter. Hang on. So, yeah, the, the it's a wraparound screen like Pac-Man. So, we went all the way from, from the pink bit, straight down, up to the top, and down again into this bit, which I guess is a level. Teleporter divot. Oh, is this this level? Oh, I think we've gone to my favourite level first, which is... Oh, look at this! Oh my god, this is one of the harder levels, but it's one of my favourites. I love this game. Oh my god. You have to keep up with the screen, and you can't go too quickly. If you go too quickly... Oh, I can, you can kind of see it there. There are spikes on the top of the screen. There are spikes on the top of the screen and the bottom of the screen. If you go too quickly, you get killed by the top screen. If you go too slow, you get killed by the bottom screen. And you have to do all this while avoiding every single spike to ever exist. Because this game hates you and wants you to die. Oh, I missed a trinket. How do I get to that trinket? Oh, I see. Okay. The music in this... This is, like, the best music. I love this music so much. I want to make love to this music. Found a shiny trinket. We have three now. I had to skip a checkpoint. Oh, I remember this bit. Oh, it's okay. We don't have to go for the trinket this time. It's so rewarding. It's, it's, it's one of these like really difficult precision platformer style games, but it rewards you for making small amounts of progress, and it's wonderful. Oh no. Oh no. No, I, th I think I have to go that the um, long route. If I don't go the long route, I think I miss out on a trinket. Whoop. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get every trinket. I promise. All of them. Okay. Okay. So you kind of have to just run for it. Just go as fast as you can and then hope that you figure out what you're doing. 
Oh, I see. Yeah, we have to wrap around onto the other screen at that point. Do -do. I don't know exactly where. There. Ha! Drink it for! You are mine. Where are we going now? Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, there's a this big arrow in the background that I missed. Oh, we have to go so... Eh, there we go. Oh. This game is so cute. There's, so, there's something about modern games that I don't like is how dull in, in terms of colour, not in terms of like story or whatever. There's so many games nowadays that are just shades of grey or, or brown or whatever. And then you have games like this, which it's meant to replicate like old Amiga games and stuff like that. Which used to have colours unlike modern and shit, so... Oh. oh, I was doing so well. I love this game. Oh, I'm not going to stop sucking this game's dick anytime soon. I love it. Okay, we can just stay on that one and wait. Looks like a little doggy nose. Oh, maybe we can't. God damn it! Even touching the side of the spikes kills you. Just don't touch the spikes. If you touch the spikes, bad things happen. Like that. Don't do what I just did. Do as I say, not as I do. We did it! Oh, uh, hello, red man. Captain! Am I glad to see you! I thought I was the only one to escape the ship! Vermilion! I knew you'd be okay. Okay, what's the situation? I see! Well, we better get back then. There's a teleporter in the next room. Yay, Vermilion! Friends. So I think we're the only we're the only one with the flippity floppity power. Because no one else seems to do it. For whatever reason. You rescued a crew member! Three remain. Aww. This, as you can tell, this is a very short game, but it's so cute and well made and polished. And your people stay and you can talk. It's great to be back. I can't wait to help find the rest of the crew. It'll be like old times, huh, Captain? Goodbye, Vermilion. Ah. So, let's find another person then. I'm going to go down this way. This is probably where you're meant to go first, because it's right next to your ship. Where are we going? Ooh. Oh no, now, now we just... Oh, there, there's an area. The green bit. So, if, if, if it's got these weird dashy bits on it, then that's outdoors, whatever. If it looks different, that means you found a level. I really like this level as well. Ooh. Look. look. Boop. So every time you hit one of these pieces of white string or whatever, you boop. And then, you, so you have to... So you auto-flip. Yeah, that's how I can describe it. So if you touch one of these planes of existence, you automatically flip, when normally you have con complete control over it. And you have to not touch the spikes or you die. And they can be sideways. Hello, terminal. It turns out the key to stabilising this dimension was to create a balancing force outside of it. That looks like it's just a temporary solution at best. I've been working on something more permanent, but it seems it's going to be too late. I don't know. The music is so fucking good. Up here. Yeah, here's another trinket. Ooh, this one you actually need to think about. Okay, you have to actually leave the string. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Flip. There we go. I did it. But this time it's been sneaky and giving us a checkpoint, so we have to do it backwards as well. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Never mind. There we go. Did it. The first time I played through this game, it took so long for me to beat. Oh, I was dying so frequently. Oops. I can't remember your character's name, it's really annoying. There's Violet, Viridian, Vermilion. Were you Vermilion? No. Are we Viridian? I don't know. Syntax error. Oh no. Ah! Oh. 
if, if you watch some of the people who like speedrun this game or whatever, they're incredible. Jesus Christ, they're so good at video games, I'm so jealous. Ah, where are we going? So every single like screen in this game is a reference to something basically. It's also such nerdy sci-fi bollocks and I love it. Okay, let's take this slower. Eh! I did it. Safety dance. That's a song. Yeah. Let me go slightly f okay. Oh, now where are we? Oh god. Ah! Oh, the teleporter. But there's also a way down here. Yeah, here we go. Oh, why are you here? What are you doing? I'm helping! <laughs> Thank you, Familian. You're a credit to our team. We're so lucky to have you on board. Jesus Christ, Familian. Do something. Help me! You could have got this trinket while I was actually, like, saving people's lives or whatever. So what's up this way? So there's another way out by the teleporter. What's over here? What the fuck is this bullshit? Oh my god. Access to the control centre is, is still possible through the main atmospheric filters. Oh, thank you. It's shown me a place. So we are outside again. Ah, trinket time! I would have gone straight past this one, so I'm glad I didn't. That would have been terrible. I think the game does eventually tell you where all the trinkets are. Number seven! Oh, we're breezing through this game. You wait until we get to that one trinket. That, oh, I might spend a very long time getting that one. And you'll, you'll know it when we see it. Oops! I walked into some spikes. Like a loser. There we go. Piss! I'm so bad at games! It's really impressive how they've managed it. Every single level has its own mechanic and everything. Oops. So, like, the tower is always raising. You have to keep moving at the perfect speed or you fuck up. Hey, now! What are you doing? This is my velocity. Get away. Yeah. There we go. No, come here. Ah! Oh. There we go. Ha! I beated you. Yeah. Sometimes you have to concentrate quite a lot. So I'm sorry if I go silent some of the time. Ah! Oh Christ, how do I do that? Not like that. That was not how you do that bit. Okay, just hold right and hope. <laughs> ah! That area was called ah. I wasn't just screaming. Hello! Oh no, Captain, are you stuck here too? It's okay, I'm here to rescue you. Let me explain everything. Time passes. What? Well, I didn't understand any of that. Oh, well, don't worry. Follow me, everything will be alright. Really? Okay then. Aww. The characters are just coloured people and they have so much character. And every area is so unique. And this game is so perfect. I love it. This entire game is. This entire video has just been me jacking this game off. Oh no. Wah! Captain, are you okay? I'm okay. This isn't the ship. Where are we? Ah! Something's gone wrong. We should look for a way back. When you're standing on the floor, Victoria will try to walk to you. When you stand on the spikes, everybody just gets sad. Follow me, I'll help you. Promise you won't leave without me. I promise, don't worry. So Vic Victoria basically... When you're touching the floor, Victoria senses where you are. Or whatever. Oh, Christ. But sh she doesn't go... She doesn't go directly underneath you, she stops a little bit. 
which makes stuff like this easier. Which is nice. I appreciate it. Come on, child. Victoria. There we go. Are you down there, Doctor? I want to go home. Where are we? How did we even get here? Well, Violet did say the interference in the dimension we crashed into was causing problems with the teleporters. I guess something went wrong. But if we can find another teleporter, I think we can get back to the ship. <laughs> She's so sad. Why is she so sad all the time? Okay. Ah! Oh. I killed my friend. <laughs> oh, I'm a terrible person. Go! Go! Wank! Ugh! Okay. Okay. Yep. There we go. Now we can lead her across safely. Uh. Now, go! Yeah, there we go. Add a girl. Hello! Captain, Captain, wait for me. Please don't leave me behind. I don't mean to be a burden. I'm scared. Oh, don't worry, Victoria. I'll look after you. Oh, she's so cute. And now we have to make her get on a lift without her dying. A horrible, horrible death. Ah! Didn't work. She died. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Go, 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 go. Up. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I love this game. Oh, thank Christ. Oh, fuck you. You woman who walks too quickly for your own good. Okay, this time, speedy. And then slowly. There we go. We did it. Do as I say. We're never going to get out of here, are we? I... I don't know. I don't know where we are or how we're going to get out. Okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Look how fine it's going to be. Holy shit. <laughs> this is not fine. Uh, how do I do? Ooh. Okay. Many deaths are about to happen. Piss. Piss! Come on. Isn't that difficult? We can do it. There we go. Now we have to get her across. Fucking A. Wank! Oh! God damn it, Violet! Why can't you just learn to stand still when you. Oh my god, can't you see the spikes? Piss. Wank, titty, balls. Oh my god. There's got the kind of the instant respawn thing. Oh thank fuck. Ah, ah. Okay, okay, we've made it. Okay. Okay. Thank fuck. Oh my god. We're going to be lost forever. Oh come on, things aren't that bad. I have a feeling that we're nearly home. We can't be too far from another teleporter. I hope you're right, Captain. Aww. You should always try and- Ah! Be positive. I say as I almost die a horrible death. Ow. <laughs> that didn't work. Okay. Go, go, go. Ow. Okay, okay. This time. It's fine anyway. If we die, we just respawn. Okay, how do I do this bit? Go! She doesn't go far enough. Why don't you go far enough? Whoop. Whoop. Okay, she went far enough that time. Whoop! Piss! I forgot that she was going to be stupid and walk off the edge. How do I get her off the edge? And me. Ooh. Oops. I was thinking too much about the end, but I didn't think about the beginning. 
Like many writers, probably. Oh, come on, you just glance that one. Piss. I saw that one coming. <laughs> the first two are easy, because she... I say they're easy, immediately die. Good job. Right. <laughs> this is why you're not a speedrunner. Oh my fucking god. Come on. It's not that bad. Oh. But if you, if, if you get the timing wrong, then you're kind of fucked. Okay, come on. Oh no, she touched it. She touched the spike. Ah! Oh, I brought her too far. Come on, we can do it. I'm gonna do it. Piss! Oh my god. I was, oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Just take it slowly. Okay. Yeah, we're fine here. We're fine here, aren't we? Yeah, stop crying. Okay, there we go. There we go. Go right to the edge. How d I have no idea how I'm gonna be able to do that bit. Okay. So, I have to get her to get across there, but she doesn't go fast enough to go across there. For whatever reason. But there's nowhere for me to flip. You can't flip in mid-air, you can only flip when you're on solid ground, and from here I'm just gonna like flip to my death. To the spikes. That didn't help. That's not how you solve the puzzle. Ah, there we go. I did it! I don't know how. Hey, excuse me. Come on. Come on! Follow me. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like walking a really annoying dog. <laughs> Who is blue. We did it! Captain, you were right! It's a teleporter! Phew! Happy worried for a while there. I thought we were never going to find one. What? Really? Anyway, let's go back to the ship. <sighs> so that's how many people we've saved. Oh, how many people have we got left? I can't remember. Crew, there we go. Oh, there we are. Viridian, that's you. So we have Verdigree and Vitellery left. So that would be a yellow person and. I don't know what other colour. Green? We haven't had a green person. Yeah. That's probably right. <sighs> 84 deaths. How appalling. Uh, uh, how do I leave the menu? Help me! Where is everybody then? This seems like a good place to store those shiny things. Victoria loves to study the interesting things we find on our adventures. So here we have all of our sparkly objects. Huzzah. Here is thingy Violet. Welcome back, Captain. I think Victoria is quite happy to be back on the ship. She really doesn't like adventuring. She gets very homesick. Why does, why does she come with us on space adventures then? Why did that teleporter send us to that scary dimension? What happened? I don't know, Doctor. Why? God. It's okay, you're safe now. Calm down. This is a blinding room. Wow. Hello, Vermillion. It's good to have Victoria back with us. She really seems happy to get back back to work in her lab. Vroom. So, I'm going to leave this episode here, because we're probably about halfway through the game, I suppose. Eh, probably, maybe a little less. Could we have two people now. Yeah, I'm ending the episode. <laughs> and, yeah. Next time, we will probably finish the game, to be honest. It's not that long a game. So we will... I think I've missed some areas. Whatever. We will save the final two crew members. We will find the remaining 13 shiny trinkets and, I don't know, hopefully survive. That should probably be priority one. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I love this game. I hope that you're enjoying watching this because I absolutely adore this game to death. It's so cute. Um, 
yeah, I will see you all then. Goodbye. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, what are you doing? Oh no, he's turned into a death tornado. We don't like death tornadoes here, Alan, do we? Come on, run faster! Holy shit! <laughs>